13 trains of Kolkata Metro are lying unused in China since 2019. Set to run on broad gauge lines of the metro network, these are the first imported trains of the city. Out of 14 trains that were contracted to China's state-owned CRRC Dalian locomotive company, only one has been sent off to Kolkata so far. The train is under testing for last 34 months, but there's absolutely no sign of when it will be pushed into service. What went wrong? Why is it taking so long to commission just one train? Why is the Indian Railways wasting taxpayers' money by delaying the process? The Research Design and Standards Organization or RDSO, an organization under the Ministry of Railways, is in charge of any new train that is commissioned anywhere in India. RDSO prepared the design and specifications of CRRC Dalian trains of Kolkata Metro. So, a clearance from the organization is mandatory for them to be inaugurated. But the organization seems to be least interested in commissioning these trains. Drenched in a bureaucratic system of the Indian Railways, all 14 of these expensive trains are lying completely unused. For the last three years, RDSO has carried numerous tests of the prototype train. But the Railways is yet to make a decision on whether to commission the train in near future. Unless the first one is commissioned, the 13 trains already waiting for the delivery won't be brought to India. Metro Authority says there were few issues with the prototype rake that has been rectified. Few more are yet to be solved. But nothing can be done unless the engineers from China physically visit the Noapara car shed. The process is delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But is it actually COVID-19 or is it the unwillingness of RDSO to prepare the first train? Let me explain. International contracts have been provided to many metro systems in India for delivering trains. All of them are going smoothly except Kolkata. CRRC Dalian, the same company, has successfully commissioned numerous trains in Nagpur Metro. Another international contract involves Titagor Fireman to deliver and commission the first train in Pune Metro from their factory in Italy. Why is Covid an issue only in Kolkata? The entire contract of Kolkata Metro for procuring 14 trains from Dalian is billed at a little over 1039 crores. Each train costs around 74 crores. All 14 trains were to be sent to Kolkata by 2020, but only one has been given so far. As the process of commissioning is repeatedly extended, it requires to extend the contract period by paying extra money that we Indians have to pay. Speaking to Metro officials, we were informed that the first train is not required to be run on the existing corridor as we do not have any shortage of trains. ICF's indigenous trains are serving the purpose and they have successfully replaced the old aging non-EC fleet. As and when Metro feels the necessity, extensive trials will be conducted and newer trains will be imported from our neighbour. But it's sad to see when entire Metro projects in cities like Kanpur, Lucknow and Kochi are being constructed and commissioned in 25-30 to 30 months, Kolkata takes more than 3 years to commission a single prototype train. The prototype train of Dalian is not faulty like previous Medha rakes. It is the work culture that is delaying the process, thanks to, again, the bureaucratic Indian railways.